Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad <coughs> wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma dhar habita fillah giving charity, giving sadaqah for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is one of those great deeds that are rewarded by Allah azza wa jal that is from the a'mal al-salih and we should never if we have that opportunity to give for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we should never forsake that opportunity. And as the book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam illustrate that we should give to those who are closest to us first. So from your own family, uh, spending on your own family is the best sadaqah. Spending on especially those who are who it's not uh the core obligation for example a husband for his wife and his children his dependents or wives uh or parents but to give to those who are in need in one's family but that does not negate giving to others so if one is able to spending in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only comes with khair and in a hadith of A hadith of Abi Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqal qal allahu ta'ala anfak ya abn adam yunfak alayk mutafakun alayh in this hadith in Bukhari and Muslim hadith of Qudsi the hadith of Abi Huraira radiallahu ta'ala that he reported that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that Allah the Almighty said, Spend, O son of Adam, and I will spend upon you. From this hadith of the Messenger of Allah, or this hadith of Qudsi, that the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam narrated on Allah azza wa jal, we learn first the encouragement to spend in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whether that be spending for the one who goes out, fi sabilillah, or whether that be spent uh, in any form of khair, in any form of khair, on the fuqara, on the musakin, on those people who are the poor and the needy, and those people from amongst your family who are needy, and your obligatory duties as well. <coughs> And so that that is all khair, and that is a reason for Allah increasing your risk. So that is something for us to reflect upon when the shaitan whispers to us and we want to withhold wealth and withhold spending, that we have to reflect that one of the reasons we have that is Allah gave that to us because of the khair that you were doing. So it's a way of getting your risk increased. And... There's immense khair in that. Another benefit of this hadith is that Allah gives a servant in accordance with what he gives to the poor and the needy. And so those are just some of the benefits that we can gain from this hadith from the ulama. And we ask our uh, Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala to increase us in ilm nafi rizqan tayyibah wa ilm al-mutaqabbin wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم